One of the things I have on my MP3 player, which also happens to be a telephone, very convenient gadget this, is the audio from Phil Helene's video which he called Speculum. Um, I've listened to it many times and I would say that it's every bit as good as Science Save My Soul, but for some reason it's only had a small fraction of the number of views. Um, I wonder if that has anything to do with the title um, and I think of that video as his meerkat video um, in a similar way to another video I have on my phone is through these godless eyes and that one I always think of as his what are we video another really good one anyway this video that I'm making now is in response to the meerkat video and if anyone hasn't seen that I strongly recommend it and I will put the link in the description below. Um, it's not really a response as such but it's just dealing with one specific thing which Phil mentions in that video and that is the uh, religious encouragement of uh, people to have lots of babies. Um, the Bible encourages us to be fruitful and multiply um, somewhere in Genesis I think. Some believers take this very seriously and try to keep their women pregnant for as much of the time as possible. This is connected to the idea that women sh are the property of their husbands and should be subservient to them. Fortunately we live in more enlightened times now at least here in the UK. I find it morally repulsive the idea that uh, uh, women should be coerced into having children, especially if they don't want it at the time. But uh, that's, that's just my opinion on this matter. I have noticed that uh, families with large numbers of children are almost always deeply religious. This seems pretty selfish and short-sighted. We're living on a planet of a finite size um, with a finite number of resources and the population has grown rapidly over the last hundred years or so um, but because we're so busy we lead such busy lives um, it's not always at the forefront of people's minds to think about the impact that they have on the natural world um, and consequently the impact that having lots of children will have on future generations. There are already vast numbers of people malnourished and uh, this is a shameful situation, a combination of bad politics and inequality, but uh, the whole idea behind religions wanting to uh, subdue the earth and multiply continually I know that religion isn't the only reason why people in poor countries tend to have lots of babies, but it's something that I wish that more policymakers had the balls to talk about. When religions encourage their followers to have lots of babies, the intention must be to increase the membership of that religion. They also encourage the parents to indoctrinate or bring up their offspring to be devout believers just like themselves. Islam, in my view, is the worst offender here. Um, Muslims are very much against gender equality and uh, they're encouraged to have large families and uh, they're also encouraged to fill the world with more Muslims or to basically take over the world. And when any of them uh, think about leaving the religion, they're strongly discouraged from doing that and it is made very very hard. Um, the whole idea of apostasy um, is... I don't, I don't think in any other religion or any other part of the world is apostasy regarded as such a serious offence against the religion as it is in Islam. There's a book uh, written by Ayan Hershey Ali called Infidel 
and uh, that's something I highly recommend. Um, she is a very brave woman. Um, there are not many ex-Muslim women who are happy to talk about their experiences so publicly. Um, I'll put a link, if I can find it, to that book down there, just in case anyone wishes to look at that further. A few years ago I had some interesting conversations with a Christian and an atheist. The Christian, who happened to be my boss at the time, he thought that I was incredibly selfish because I didn't have any kids and didn't plan to have any kids. He had kids and as far as he was concerned they were the most important thing that he had done in his life and after having put them through school and university um, he basically said that his life was over and if he if he got killed or if he dropped down dead that would be fine because he'd served his purpose. Um, interestingly he also used to frequently say that he would disown his daughter if he found out that she had a Muslim boyfriend. He really hated Muslims. So strange situation there. Um, while I was working at the same place I worked with a German girl who was atheist. She was a few years younger than me and she was single. One of the things she used to say was that when she found her Mr. Right she wanted to have lots of babies. Lots and lots. And she thought she was pretty smart and I asked her whether she was at all concerned about overpopulation and uh, the depletion of natural resources and she said that she was but she thought that it was more important this is back to Muslims again she thought it was more important that to, to, to try to prevent Muslims from taking over the world and in her view the best way to do that was to have lots of kids who she could bring up to be secular and uh, in her view they would do more good than harm in the world. For what it's worth my own view is that the education of children is very important but it's not the sole responsibility of the parents and I think particular, in particular back to my own childhood and I spent a lot of time with various uncles and relatives um, and also the parents of uh, my friends who I would say had more of an influence on the way I grew up than my parents did and uh, I would even go as far as to say that if I didn't have that kind of contact then there's a very good chance I would be not necessarily religious but certainly a lot more into conspiracy theories and new agey type stuff. As a kid I do remember school being pretty tedious a lot of the time and uninspiring. Um, I didn't hate it as much as some of my friends did but uh, one thing that I would really like to see happen in this world is a lot more attention being put on to improving the education system, not by making it more complicated, That's we have plenty of that, but I'd like to see the education system being drastically overhauled and far more attention being focused on what each child is interested in and curious about and nurturing that curiosity. But that's something I'd like to concentrate on in another video at another time. Because our lives are so relatively short and because we're so busy we don't always notice the fact that uh, the human population has skyrocketed so drastically over the last hundred years and so much over recorded human history but particularly in the last hundred years. Um, we tend to just focus on the small time frame um, you know, we look a little bit forward into the future, we look back a decade or two, depending how old we are, um, and we just think of that as being normal. But, 
I think it's healthy to take several steps further back and just look at a few graphs, particularly concerning population growth and the, the population growth going up steeply and the remaining resources going down at the same time. Uh, and I would say that is cause for concern and alarm. The religious imperative to multiply is one of the most dangerous ideas or memes in amongst a lot of other dodgy memes and ideas, in my opinion. If there really was a god who wanted us to subdue the earth and to multiply in a fruitful way, then I'd question that god's ability to think things through to their logical conclusion. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.